So you're back at college, you get stuck with the worst dorm mate ever. This guy breathes really loudly with his mouth open, and on top of that, he's known on campus as the fart machine. But he has the audacity to tell you to keep it quiet when you're in your dorm room because he likes silence. Now, instead of telling this guy where to go, you decide to appease him because you're gonna be stuck with this guy for the entire year. So what do you do instead? You build yourself a quiet PC. Everything inside of here is perfect for back to school and on top of that, more than powerful to handle any task you throw at it. First up is the case of choice. This is the Fractal Nano S. It's a little bit older, but it's portable, it's small, and it's easy to work with. But most importantly, it has sound dampening material inside of it to keep the components quiet. Beside that, you have the PSU. This is the EVGA 650 G3. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's a plus gold standard. Very efficient, very quiet. If it's too expensive for you, you can drop down to the BQ, which is the bronze version. Motherboard of choice. Gigabyte B450i Aorus Pro Wi-Fi. It's an older one, but bang for your buck features, this thing is awesome. Perfect for overclocking, perfect for gaming, perfect for throwing demanding tasks at it. Now for the GPU, we're going with the Asus ROG Strix gaming graphics card. This is the RTX 2060 Super. I think this is perfect for anything, gaming, creative work, or design because the RTX can take advantage of the studio drivers, which will give you more efficient drivers to work with and therefore better performance. Now, if this is too expensive for you, drop down to the 1660 Ti version of this. The air cooler we're going with is the Noctua NH D15. You know this thing, it's won tons of rewards, one of the quietest air coolers you can use and it's worth every penny. SSD of choice is the SK Hynix. They just started selling consumer SSD. So we're gonna test this guy out and see how the performance is, but this is a one terabyte model, so more than enough to store all of your documents. CPU, AMD Ryzen 5 3600X. This guy is a beast. Perfect for gaming, perfect for 3D work, perfect for compiling code. Six cores is more than enough to get all of your work done in school. And finally, the RAM of choice, we're going with some HyperX 16 gigabyte kit. These guys are around 3200 megahertz, so plenty fast. I like the design, all black, everything's gonna look nice and clean. Now one thing you're not gonna notice is there's no RGB. This guy in your dorm room is very sensitive to lights, and if you start using RGB, he's gonna have a seizure. So we're gonna keep this build nice and clean. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in, yeah. I just wanna win, yeah. LABB, who we running with, yeah. 2233, I'm on 10 again, yeah. State your name, big been dope on flame. I just switched the lanes. Damn, he did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping in bass, slab on everything. Swimming, you sinking away, cause I got big racks coming. I put my low racks on it. I ain't skip past losses, I had to get back off it. See the fit lab on it until they whip my coffin. Money clip, I tossed it, I heard it's big bags on big bags on big bags coming. Uh -huh. Coming in, yeah. Flex, I just wanna win. Yeah. LA BB, who we running with? Yeah. 2233, I'm on 10 again. Pump up the action. Bitch, I'm active. If he never heard of Ben Dope, he just napping. Jackson's off the rapping. Keep it on my body, bitch. I'm broke if you ask it. Don't gotta sell him most of y'all. It's flawless. Broke your whips as long as it is foreign. Heard you wanna cause the game's enormous. What's an ass? Since she isn't gorgeous. Live my life last name. I'm Morgan Freeman. Trying to touch a forest. Do not know we're knocking on the door. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Matt, this is not the most prettiest build. In fact, it's pretty much an eyesore. And yes, it is, okay? I didn't do the best planning for it, but I did achieve my goal. That was creating a PC that was absolutely quiet. And that's exactly what this does. Now, I know if you watched the time lapse and you paid attention very carefully, you know I made a bunch of mistakes. Like the first time I placed the CPU cooler onto the motherboard before putting the motherboard in the case first, which caused me not to be able to access the fourth screw to screw the motherboard into the case. So I had to take the whole thing out, reapply the thermal paste, put the motherboard back in, screw it in, place the CPU cooler on top, and then, <laughs> me being me, realized 
I couldn't plug in the CPU power to the motherboard because this CPU cooler is ridiculously thick. So for the second time, I pulled everything out, did everything all over again and placed everything back in. But this time I made sure the power was plugged in and the fan for the CPU cooler into the motherboard before applying the CPU cooler on to the CPU. Perfect. Everything was off to the races after that. I plugged in all the cables, everything looked great. Then I got to the GPU and guess what? Oh, guess what? No problem clearing this ITX case because it's a big case in general. The width is totally fine, but because the ASUS RTX 2060 Super is so thick, the first fan on the GPU was rubbing against the PSU, which caused the other two fans to compensate for it, making this one of the loudest builds I've ever discovered in my entire life. So you know what I did? I pulled it out, I replaced it with an RTX 2080. Ironic, a more powerful GPU being thinner than the ASUS version, had enough clearance for it, and everything finally worked perfect. It powered up on the first try, by the way, very proud of myself, and things were working wonderfully. Now, like I said, I know this is not the cleanest looking build in terms of aesthetics. I don't like RGB, that's why you don't see any of it here, but it achieves the result I initially intended for it to do, and that is absolute silence. Gameplay is awesome on this thing, like 1080p, ultra high settings, any game you throw at it is gonna run like a champ, and even QHD. Like this machine is meant for full HD and QHD gaming, even with a little bit of 4K gaming because you have the RTX 2080 in here, but if it was the 2060, not so much. Now lessons learned about this build. Do better planning that, that usually helps. You can go with the smaller Noctua cooler so it doesn't take up as much space in this case. If you want, you can place the second fan inside of here, but I think one is more than adequate for this build, but if you want the extra cooling, you have that option. And two, think about aesthetics first, because you know, there's a lot of people out there that want their PC to actually look good. Me on the other hand, I prefer practicality and functionality before looks, but hey, everybody's different. Now I promise the next couple of builds I have coming out, they're gonna be much better, much better planning going into them. Stay tuned for that, they're coming out this week. But if you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more builds on my channel, let me know in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.